Sam, it's just different than, than they've defended you in the past. Yeah, but we see blitzes all the time, so we know how to handle it. And uh, it's just about making the right decision, quick decision, finding good spacing. And um, I mean, honestly, it's a hard way to play defense for 48 minutes. So you kind of just stick with the program over time. You know, good looks, you know, happen, good ball movement. And, that's what happened tonight. You guys have won 10 in a row at Chase. Perfect month, November at Chase. Can you feel some home court momentum starting to happen? I know Steve has said he wants you guys this season to protect the home court and build something there like you had across the bay. For sure. I mean, obviously with that eight-game homestand, we had a really good opportunity to create sustained effort there. Um, but we, understand, we know these are type of uh, nights where you, you know we're a playoff game on the ro at, at home and you know do it with the defense get the crowd into it like I said we started the season it's all about just trying to create an identity here because uh, everybody compares it to Oracle and the whole deal and our history but this is a different place and you have to establish a different presence and identity and atmosphere here and we got to do our part obviously to, to win games. What do you remember about those two back-to-back -back seasons at Oracle where you guys went 39-2 and two in back-to-back -back seasons? Crazy. But what do you remember it took to do that, and, and what can you carry from that experience to now? I mean, all that's just weaved into who we are as, you know, championship caliber team, and, and those records are nuts. But it uh, you find ways to win games all type of different ways. You know, you can look at these last two nights where you're down – 19, you win by 20. Tonight, where you're pretty much handling the game the entire time, they make a run and you, you close it out. Whether it's a big third quarter type of type of night, whatever it is, but our defense obviously allows the fun, you know, possessions that happen on the offensive end, transition dunks, alley oops, open threes, all that type of stuff. So all that's kind of weaved into who we are. Steph up. You've been on the practice court with Clay a little bit the, these recent days, I'm sure, and just he he spoke to us this week about just the grind of, you know, ramping back up more minutes uh, during these scrimmages, and and certainly just how taxing emotionally this has been for him for two years. How proud are you to see him taking these steps and just doing this every day? I mean, clearly, clearly, it's it's tough on him sometimes. Two years is a, or two plus years is a long time. Um, I think going into this particular season and him getting closer than he's ever been to getting back on the floor, um, kind of predicted this would be the hardest part of you know his journey because he's got the basketball back in his hands every day. He's you know feeling like himself. You know, he's playing pickup and he's around, you know, our practices and he's back with us in those type of uh, situations, but he's still not, you know, on the court. And, you know, the good thing is we're talking weeks instead of months now and um, super proud of the way he's just approached, <clears throat> you know, this two-year window because it's nobody will have – Unless he wants to write a book and tell, you know, every step of the way, nobody will understand what he's been through um, away from the game so long. And it shows how much this game matters to him. Um, and it's rare these days to, you know, have somebody as pure as Clay just, you know, feel every bit of what basketball brings to him. So it's going to hit him at times. And, you know, we got to be there to support him and continue to speak positively about him and what he's accomplished because, again, nobody – this is his journey. Nobody can speak to, you know, what he's been through. I mean, there it was from Steph. I couldn't say it better myself. Usually I think we can...